We are at dinner. We're celebrating 4th of July early since we're not going to be together. There's my sister Alicia, her husband, Black Widow Spider. Hello. We also call him Terry once in a while. There's dad. There's mom. <laughs> <laughs> just keeping it, just keeping it classy. Just keeping it classy. Um, he's barbecued somewhere. You can see the plate. We're having awesome grilled hamburgers. Great French, fr uh, not French salad. That's French's mustard, but fruit salad. Chips and salsa, all kinds of good stuff. Cute little oh, Fourth of July. Guillermo. I'm so sorry. If you have to do these videos all the time. This is like awful. Oh, this isn't for Guillermo. This is for my YouTube channel. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> I'm so hey, we're here in Reading at the Sundial Bridge, celebrating the 10-year anniversary. I'm with my brother-in-law and my sister, and we are about to watch the Bandaloops perform. Ignore my hair. I was swimming all day. It's another beautiful day here in their beautiful home. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Having breakfast with the parentals this morning. <laughs> mom made bacon and eggs and toast. You know it's going to be a good day when your mom makes you breakfast. That only happens a couple times a year for me. That's right. <laughs> I would show you myself, but I just got out of the shower and my hair is sopping wet. So. You look gorgeous. And I don't have any makeup on and you all have seen me plenty of times with that and you don't need to see it again. With Shani. I don't know if you guys know Shani. She's my BFF forever. If you follow me on any sort of social media, you know her. Um, <laughs> I'll insert a picture right here of us with our like other BFF, Danielle. We just finished having lunch with them and with the Flex and their their kids. It was awesome here in Redding, California. It's how hot is it today? 99 degrees. 99 degrees today, and we're still making making it look good. You guys, okay. We're bracing ourselves. We are headed to Walmart. I'm scared. I'm a little scared too. So I am organizing Shannon's whole makeup collection. She's a makeup, was a makeup artist and is a makeup beauty junkie just like us. Worked for a major brand for a long time. And we, it's a situation, y'all. A situation. So. I'm like exposing myself. Yeah, if you watched my last vlog, you saw that I went to the Muji store and picked up some Muji drawers for this one. So we have to go get some containers for her to put brushes in and some stuff like that. And you guys, I'm gonna do a whole video on makeup storage and organization because Shannon is graciously allowing us to see inside her situation. <laughs> Situation. I don't know what else to call it. I just don't. I wish I. A disaster. I, would, I mean, I want to. I don't want to be rude. But we. Let's just be honest. We can just be honest. <laughs> so listen. Hey, I'm probably like everyone. I'm busy. Yep. I love makeup. I keep buying it, and I've run out of places to store it. So it's like, 
oozing out everywhere. I, you're the everyday woman. I am. And, um, and I have brushes that are out of control. I'm gonna. I'm putting her on blast because I'm gonna show you the brush situation. When was the last time your brushes were washed, Shannon? Have you ever been to Kubler's? Was it at Thanksgiving when I washed them in Idaho? No, I've washed them in between. I know that. I've washed them at least once. I don't believe her. I don't believe her. I like it because I'm in a hurry, <laughs> and so I the makeup's already on the brush. You guys, how many of you do this? I want you to comment down below if you're like Shannon and you don't wash your makeup Come brushes. On. Everyone is. And you just you would be embarrassed if I came over to your house. Oh, car! I want to know. Tell me down below. Oh, yeah. My friend Emily. Oh, yeah. like, Hi. We like, are watching office. the USA Portugal USB game. Camera. And USA is up to one. There's Johnny over there. You guys recognize him from my Disneyland oh. pictures. There's Victor and Becca, but you can't really see them because of the Sorry. window. But we're going to fix it. Right oh, there we go. Right now. <gasps> Hi, Becca. Becca, you still He's like over it. He's like, no. Still sleeping. Just watching the game, hanging out. Happy vacation. Vacay. World Cup devastation <laughs> oh, no. with the last 20 seconds. They tied it up and scored 2-2. Two, two. We're all just crying. <laughs> we, are just, so we are cannot believe this. It's like oh, devastating. No. Oh. You guys, inappropriate headdress. <laughs> That's never that appropriate. Is... <laughs> never, never. Oh my gosh. Hi everybody. Okay, so Shani and I are just pulling up to Bethel Church here in Reading and um, just headed to church tonight. Can't wait. Super excited. I was a pastor. If you don't know this, you probably don't know this, but I was a pastor for Ever, ever here at Bethel and it's like home to me and all my spiritual parents are here and um, I just am coming I'm so excited Shani gets to go every week I miss it so much and you should come visit yeah you should come visit Reading it's hard to find a really good church and once you find a good church do not take it for granted totally. I worked here for like 12 years and took it for granted mm -hmm. and uh, it's just different in LA but anyway I'm so excited so I'm gonna hopefully get some footage of some worship and stuff like that and I'll put that in right here so sorry if you're not into God like I guess you could fast forward this part but do yourself a favor and watch it yeah so enjoy here in Reading. Just want to show you a little bit about of the view and what it looks like. It's right here on the Sacramento River. Sun is going down and it is so gorgeous. I just had the best steak and avocado salad. But yeah, how beautiful. Isn't it so beautiful? Can you just believe I left this? Moved to LA. Just so gorgeous. Hey everybody, I am here in Reading because I'm on vacation this week still and I'm with Jilly Cruz Hi. from Fox Studios in Reading, the best place you can get your hair done in Reading, hands down. Jilly has been my hairdresser forever. She's a genius. I literally have like come home or she comes down to LA so I can always get my hair done and we are doing some drastic changes yes. today. Big Under changes. this towel is some serious change. We're about halfway through. Um, my homie Johnny is here too. Um, and so I will continue to vlog a little bit more so you can see what happens next. I don't know if you can see this, but this is the color process. 
Um, so Jalee, what she did was, because obviously you guys know how dark my hair is, so she lifted, she highlighted the whole, my whole head, like lifting color, and now is depositing this like gorgeous concoction of kind of like this raspberry color. And so we'll, I'll show you at the end. Um, okay, I don't know if you can see that. How epic is that? So all my extensions are out, but you can see how long it is. But yeah, so it, it's got this like raspberry highlight to it. Hey everybody, I am still on vacation, which is super fun. And this is my little buddy Haley. We are filming a video together. Haley has a new YouTube channel and I've known Haley since before she was born. Like she was in her mommy's tummy. And we are filming a video and it's like 100 degrees in this room right now. It really is. And I am gonna be real shiny this whole time. But look for this week's glitter, uh, at this point it'll be this week's glitter report to see Haley. And check out her channel. I'll link all of her information down below. Mwah. <laughs> Wait, do that again. Well, we're not in LA anymore. I am at my friend's house today. Um, just enjoying a little bit of paradise up in Northern California. And uh, we'll call that the Johnson Goat Farm. I cannot believe those. Look how cute that goat is right there. And uh, there's one of the cats. But look at this view. It's so beautiful. Look at, they've got rocking chairs, everything. Oh, there's Brian on a tractor, or I don't know if that's really a tractor, but something. But this is just paradise. I wish some of the chickens would walk by so you guys could see them, but this is where I've been hanging out all day, just enjoying Northern California. Look at how cute Haley is with this kitty. Look at this little baby kitty. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, the little tabby. Haley, we'll have to do a brow one. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I mean, I don't want a cat, but look at that kitten. No. So sweet. Carol's only like, a, not even, she's almost a year old. Carol. And she's having babies. Babies mm -hmm. having babies. Yeah, know, that's it's crazy. Says. Hey everybody, last day of vacation in the car again with my mom. Hello. <laughs> you gotta wait till the camera's facing Hi. Right? Um, we just are leaving San Francisco Deli here um, in Reading where we had lunch with my sister who um, most likely did not want to be on camera so I didn't even broach the subject but you will have seen her in family dinner video already. So now we're just running some errands. Um, I think I've mentioned that my mom and sister are headed to Uganda next week and so we are going to just do a couple things for that and one of those is to try to come up with a non-DEET bug spray for my mom since DEET is a neurotoxin and nobody wants that. So we're going to use some essential oils and uh, <clears throat> make a bug spray. You guys, we're just, I'm just that like, I'm a scientist y'all. I'm not just a makeup scientist. I mean, I'm like, we're going to make bug spray today. So. <laughs> I'll try to see if I can video some of that process for you because some of you might be thinking, I didn't know DEET was a neurotoxin. I've been putting that all over my children and myself. Yeek. I'll, I will include a um, bug repellent, mosquito repellent recipe in the drop down menu of this video for you. And as always, you can just follow me on Pinterest where I have a ton of essential oil recipes uh, pinned for just about every ailment. And once again, I'm not trying to sell you essential oils. So don't get it twisted. It is Wednesday night, two night Big Brother premiere. You guys know I love Big Brother and am still at home getting to watch it with my friends from home who do not want to be on camera. It's weird, they're beautiful, so it's so weird. <laughs> Hello, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> so anyway, all you B BB fans, tell me who you're rooting for. Oh yeah, you better believe it. Here we are driving to LA, Johnny, my mom, and we are stopped in Kettleman City at the grand opening of something. I don't know, but listen, fresh salads, tri-tip sandwiches, Tex-Mex barbecue, like Doc Burdenstein's ice cream. This is like wine tasting cheeses. This looks awesome. Let's see what we are walking into. We have, this is brand new. I've never seen this before. So after a super fun vacation at home in Reading with my friends and family, I am headed home. 
and you can see behind me the Kettleman City little stop that we stopped at for lunch. I'm getting this, the fruit and nut salad and a side of pulled pork. Yeah, sounds good. Look at how cute this ice cream and candy shop is. Oh my gosh, it is seriously adorable. Like, look at the, it's just like precious. Oh my gosh. Like everything about it is perfect. Okay, we definitely had to get some ice cream. It's my mom's fault. I'm wearing sunglasses because I thought we were selfie. Oh no, we're 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 vlog, full on, we're on, vlogging. We're on, yeah. we're on. Um we got the root beer marble ice cream. It's in a cup. Changing my life. It's so delicious. It definitely tastes like a root beer float. I'm like game over. I was gonna get the cotton candy. I was like sold on the cotton candy. Taste of the root beer and that was it. I was just in, in it to win it. Mom's got pe pecan praline. That's been her favorite ice cream for the last. Nope, definitely not her favorite ice cream. She just <laughs> informs me. It was wrong. You guys, I was wrong. I gotta go back to eating my ice cream. All right.